Hey guys, I wanted to give a quick update on my CNC hot wire cutter. I've gotten it moved out to the garage and onto a workbench so that it has a more flat, stable surface to cut objects on and I can level the, the work pieces a bit better. Uh, it's also bolted in at a, a set place so I know that the wire is level relative to the work piece. Uh, I got the weight system set up so the wire is being tensioned by right now it's four pound uh lead balls for scuba diving it's like a a belt pack that scuba divers put onto their belt to balance out buoyancy and i have it set up on a compound pulley system so about two pounds is actually going to the wire and the reason why i did the compound system is so i could get more motion out of uh the amount of space that's here because if I just had it as a simple pulley, uh, whenever the far side goes out, max extension, and this needs to extend by 23 centimeters, then this would end up going up and down by 23 centimeters, and that's just a bit too much. Uh, also, because I realize as this goes up, this actually lowers quite a bit. So if it's just a simple pulley, uh, that was actually hitting the hitting work surface. Um, but yeah, so, uh, since it is four pounds and only two pounds are actually going to the wire, the wire is not quite as taut as I'd like it to be, but the four pounds are also causing, uh, more deflection. So I ended up upgrading the, a lot of the parts. So these are all thicker with more, uh, with more bolts. Uh, I needed more contact area to stop this from flexing. Uh, I'm not sure if I have any recordings in this video for it or not, but this would end up flexing by up to like like 20 degrees. This would be about 20 degrees higher than this. And that was causing it to jam. And I actually had this part break off at some point because of that, because all the weight was on this wheel and this wheel, and none of the weight was actually balancing out on these because of how much it was just flexing to the side. Uh, I don't have these set up in conduits yet, but I do have conduits to put in. I just haven't got that set up yet. And then I haven't extended the wires for the power supply yet. So it's still just sitting back there instead of off to the side. <laughs> I have the tablet controlling it set up over here, which isn't quite the best place, especially for using the uh, keyboard, but it works as it is right there. Um, everything else is still the same. I did have to upgrade the motor on here to a uh, 1.5 amp instead of a, uh, a one amp. And this, the other motors are about $9 each and this one's $10, so it's not a huge increase in price uh there's some other issues i'm still trying to fix like around this area here the horizontal gantry is getting stuck and that's because of uh, the bottom plate that holds the the belt on the bottom is actually really tight against the extrusion and i guess the tolerance over here is just a little bit wider so it actually gets jammed right there and that's caused some prints to go bad uh, other than that, I don't think there's too many new upgrades from the last time. Uh, each of the pulley parts on here actually has a three millimeter bearing on it so that they run smoother. There's one on each side. There's one on each side and then the, the bolt doesn't actually touch the 3D printed material on the inside. And that's so that it can run a bit smoother because initially before I had them uh, there's a lot of extra weight there's a lot of extra it was pulling it around a lot when it was going up and down because the wire just kept getting stuck on these because they weren't spinning freely and after I added on the the bearings it's gotten a lot better so uh, these were a pain to order though uh, I think 10 was $20 and the company I ordered them from sent me the wrong ones the first time. So it ended up taking two, two weeks just for me to get the, the bearings for these. Um, 
I don't have a solid work surface to put the foam up on yet. So I'm just using some scrap uh, shelf boards from our pantry. And right now that's working fine though. I've just been using double-sided tape on it. Um, yeah, that's uh, about it.